Hey guys, Justin here with DataSpark, and today I wanna to show you how you can take a Walmart product listing and find the UPC. Now the UPC is the most valuable identifier because it allows you to research this product on any other website or tool that you may have. Perhaps you wanna to go to amazon.com and see what it looks like over there, or try to find a wholesale distributor or a myriad of other use cases. Surprisingly, Walmart makes this really difficult. In fact, you can't find the UPC on the product page. I can look up here and I can find this Walmart URL ID. I can find this Walmart number. I might, I can go down and find the brand and the product number, but I can't find the UPC. So we've wanted to help with this. and I'm going to show you two ways that you can take this listing and find the UPC. First is just installing our Chrome extension. If you go to datasparkco we have a link to the Chrome web store, or you can go to the Chrome web store and search. And once you've got the extension, just add it to Chrome. You're going to click on it and add your DataSpark API key, and we have a link here to find that number, and you're ready. Next time you go to a listing on Walmart, we have this rich information about this product, and right below that, boom, you've got the UPC. Copy, paste it, do whatever you need to with it. That simple. Now, what if you're wanting to do this in bulk? Let's suppose that you have a whole list of URLs, and you've got the URL ID from that, you can grab that and the easiest way to do this, we've made this super simple, come over here and we have this feature, my product list. Now what this is going to allow you to do is come here, create a list. Let's just call it my UPC lookup list. I'm going to paste those URLs, uh, IDs that I have in there, save that list and boom, here I have it. I've got a list of those Walmart URL IDs with the UPCs. I also have all this rich information about these products that I can evaluate, but if I just need that UPC, I can uh, export this list and then take those UPCs and do whatever I need to with them. So we hope we've made it really simple to take the Walmart product listings and find the UPCs through these two methods. Let me know what else we can do for you. And hopefully if you enjoy these tips, you'll subscribe down below, like this video, and even comment if we've helped you out. Thanks so much.